Hello people, Jules here at One Yorkshireman and his bike. Today I am constructing a, um, almost like a rack I guess, to put the bikes in the box of the truck. I just quickly run down to the, uh, the hardware store there, pick some wood up. Uh, two six foot lengths of uh, 3x2 and two six foot lengths of uh well not actually three by two but uh five and a half uh i guess and it's an in inch and a half wide so and then the others uh three by two as you can see there so basically what i've done as you can see from the box of the truck is every box is different size but as you can see from that i've uh cut the 3b2 to the width of this back piece here um, and then cut another 3b2 to the length to the width of the box within the wheel wells here and then with the uh, 6x2 I'm gonna well the plan is the plan is of putting three fat bikes in the box of this so the back wheels are in the box facing forward and the front wheels will rest on the the back flip cover of the box that way it keeps everything inside the box uh so a, to a certain degree and uh stop them moving side to side so pretty much like this so as you can see the back wheels inside there comes up a good a good way over the tire and up on the rim but it doesn't catch the rear derailleur there I'll keep videoing it and show you step by step, sort of, how these are done for rel relatively cheap. I mean, so far the wood, and I got a little bit of uh, I got a little bit of uh, pipe lagging, if you like, like this. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put that the ratchet strap through this, so then when it goes through here, uh, you know, it's not going to rub the frame, damage the frame, scratch it or anything. It's just going to be nice and snug, nice and snug fit on there. We've got Jasper the dog in here as well, he's helping me out. There's a little uh, eight month old Westy, he's a bit inquisitive, uh, wanting to know everything. He's ripping up the uh, the rug in the garage, because he's a little pest right now, but that's all good, he's a puppy. Basic tools, chop saw, uh, that's pretty much it really, bit of wood, that's all we've got going on. So. As you can see, we've uh, made the frame for three fat bikes, um, all with sort of an average width between them uh, for a four to a 4.8 inch tire, which will accommodate them uh, both nicely, which would be great. Um, so yeah, three bikes, I think three bikes this way, fat bikes is uh, enough for the box. So it's only a short box five and a half foot box i can just lift this piece out this will just lift out and um i can store it in the garage put my other stuff in there suitcases tools you know whatever i'm doing on the weekends when i want to ride take my other stuff out slot that into place put the bikes in and the bikes will you know it won't come further back because how this is built um it's up against the you know up against the back of the truck so it can't slide back plus the tailgate's going to be up as well which you know it's not going to come out then and it'd be locked so but yeah uh, a little bit of fine tuning here and there but i think we're going to be pretty good to be honest and then once i locate the ratchet strap around the frame that should hold it nicely up against the uh so you're gonna have a couple of points of uh contact with the tire you're obviously gonna have the two side walls here these these pieces of wood and obviously the back piece and the front piece, but also when the tailgate's up, that's going to be up against here. Um, so you're going to have even more security of the, you know, the back wheel and then a strap around the frame and it should be all good. So what I'm doing here is depending on, depending on uh, your box layout of your truck, you probably won't need to do this, but the way mine's situated and the way the wheels are is ideally I would like this cross piece closer up to the the wheel and then that would have saved all this but because of the layout of the wheel well and everything i had to bring it further into the center of the box 
So what I'm doing basically, as you can see from there, I'm just cut a piece of 3 by 2 that's the width of each one of these slots for the tyres to go in and screwing it in at an angle as you can see so then when the wheel's in it can't rock forward just done the, just done that one and i'm just going to put this one in like that um just needs a little bit there we are like so so i'm going to put the bike in because all our all the bodies that i ride with are all 26 inch rims uh same profiles so um you know they should all theoretically be the same um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put the bike in, get this measurement absolutely spot on. So it's just when the wheel's seated in this recess uh, on the gr on the bed of the truck, then um, this is just gonna come up snug against the the outer diameter of the tire or on the tread if you like, and then I'll screw it into place, and then that stops them rocking forward and it just gives it a little bit more strength. Yeah, so. As I just mentioned there, slot the slot the tire into this side now, and then I've got this piece. And then basically all I'm going to do is just position it um, so it's just on the tread, just like so. And then I'm just going to screw it in from the side here uh, on both sides, and then that's got some nice support on the on the wheel. But as you can see, it's pretty much it coming along nice and then when you're done you just pull it out and Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt and we're all good with the world so there we go just lifts out one guy can do it lifts out start it away in your garage when you're not using your bike so not riding anywhere and then when you want it you just pick it up slots into the back of the box uh, to the place where you built it and uh slot your bikes in strap them down boom away you go so yeah probably taken me i don't know two hours something like that i say i didn't draw anything down it's just all out of my head um i'm sure you know if you draw it down and did all the measurements on paper and did it all by the book if you like then you get it quicker but sometimes it's uh I like to build things just winging it and they work so if you have that ability of doing it then just do it what's the point in drawing it down if you don't and you want to make sure everything's precise uh, which is not always the case when you draw them down every box is different every box has a slight variant in measurements so that's why I just do it freehand if you like and uh, do it from there I do it you know how it is how the box is so yeah there you are so when you're done with it as you can see it's built in the frame now it's in the uh in the box so the box's measurements when you're done with it you literally pull up the front like that slide it out and boom it's out like that you want to put it back in just get it in like that slide it under the grooves just drops into place press on the bed of the truck no side to side movement as you can see slot the three mounting bikes in each of the slots and then from the lashing point around back to the other lashing point bikes are secure close the tailgate obviously you've got then I mean with the tailgate closed as well you know, the bikes in there sit and sail, they're not going anywhere then. Yeah, so finally to strapping. There's just a regular ratchet strap hooked into the uh, lashing points on the bed of the truck. Some pipe lagging around your strap so you don't damage the frame up the top. Ideally, you want it on the, uh, the cross piece and the, the, the seat post there which is a perfect point to lash it. Obviously when you've got another one in, it's gonna be here and another one here. And then you just ratchet it down to that and it pulls them all back. Nice and secure. You know, pretty sturdy that, they're not going anywhere. There you go guys. Quick rack made for one all said and done for under 30 bucks, which, you know, 
this cover alone was about 150 bucks so <laughs> it's a hell of a lot cheaper uh and a safe way of transporting bikes in my personal opinion anyway but anyway that's jules or this is me at uh one yorkshireman and his bike just signing out just thought i'd share me uh my little build there with everybody hopefully it can be some use to someone um feel free to comment subscribe uh good or bad comments i'm open to uh constructive criticism as it say as they say so yeah there we are thank you